Hey nerd fighters! Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the heart of the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona. It's more than just cacti and scorching heat, you know. We're talking politics, sports, community events, the whole shebang. So, whether you're a long-time resident, a curious outsider, or just someone who enjoys a good deep dive into local happenings, you've come to the right place. So, grab your metaphorical headphones, settle in, and let's get started. DFTBA Hurricane Helene is churning in the Atlantic, projected to hit Florida. While Phoenix is far from Florida, we're all connected. The butterfly effect and all that. How could a hurricane impact us here in the desert? One potential impact is on the economy. Disruptions could lead to price increases on certain goods. We're talking oranges, grapefruit, maybe winter vegetables. Another consideration is displaced people. Some Floridians may seek refuge in Arizona. This could strain local resources. Helene reminds us of our own vulnerability to natural disasters. It highlights the importance of preparedness and community resilience. The race for Arizona's next governor is in full swing and things are getting interesting. We've got candidates from both major parties vying for the top spot, each with their own vision for the future of our state. One of the key issues in this election is education. Candidates are debating everything from school funding and teacher salaries to curriculum standards and charter schools. Another hot topic is healthcare. Access to affordable healthcare is a major concern for many Arizonans and the candidates have differing approaches to addressing this issue. Then there's the economy. Arizona's economy is growing but not everyone is benefiting equally. And of course, we can't forget about water. Water is a precious resource in the desert and managing it sustainably is crucial for Arizona's future. This election will have a significant impact on the future of Arizona. The Phoenix City Council held a meeting this week to discuss urban development. They focused on sustainable growth and preserving the city's unique character. Proposals included affordable housing and sustainable transportation. Expanding public transit and promoting cycling were key points. The council also emphasized preserving and expanding green spaces. Basketball season is just around the corner and the Phoenix Suns are gearing up for what promises to be an exciting year. They recently played a pre-season game, giving fans a glimpse of what to expect. The game was a nail-biter, with plenty of back-and-forth action. The Suns showed off their new talent, with some impressive plays from both seasoned veterans and up-and-coming rookies. On the defensive end, the Suns showed their grit, contesting shots and forcing turnovers. Of course, it's just pre-season, so the results don't count in the standings. But it's a valuable opportunity for the team to build chemistry, refine their strategies and get ready for the regular season. The annual Phoenix Art Walk is a vibrant celebration of art and culture. It's a chance for local artists to showcase their work and for the community to come together and appreciate the power of creativity. Galleries throughout the city open their doors, displaying a diverse range of artistic expressions. From paintings and sculptures to photography and mixed media, there's something for everyone to enjoy. The streets come alive with music, performance art and interactive installations. It's a reminder that art is not just something to be admired from afar, but a vital part of our community that enriches our lives in countless ways. Clean Up Phoenix Day is a fantastic community initiative that brings people together to make our city a cleaner, greener place. 
It's a chance to roll up our sleeves, get our hands dirty, and make a tangible difference in our neighbourhoods. Volunteers from all walks of life gather in parks, along streets, and in other public spaces to pick up trash, remove graffiti, and beautify our city. It's not just about cleaning up, though. It's also about building community. The impact of Clean Up Phoenix Day is visible throughout the city. It's a testament to the power of community spirit to transform our city for the better. The Phoenix Tech Summit brought together some of the brightest minds in technology to discuss the latest trends, innovations and challenges facing our industry. It was a whirlwind of ideas, insights and networking. Experts from leading tech companies shared their perspectives on everything from artificial intelligence and machine learning to cybersecurity and the metaverse. Startups pitched their innovative ideas to potential investors, hoping to secure funding and bring their visions to life. The summit highlighted Phoenix's growing prominence as a tech hub. With its talented workforce, supportive ecosystem and vibrant entrepreneurial spirit, Phoenix is attracting tech companies and talent from around the world. The Phoenix Health Fair provided a wealth of resources and information to help residents prioritize their health and well-being. Health professionals offered free screenings for various conditions, including blood pressure, cholesterol and glucose levels. Early detection is key to preventing serious health problems. Representatives from local gyms and fitness centres showcased their programmes and encouraged residents to adopt an active lifestyle. Nutritionists provided advice on healthy eating habits and offered cooking demonstrations featuring nutritious and delicious recipes. Mental health professionals were also on hand to discuss the importance of mental well-being and offer resources for those struggling with mental health challenges. Mental health is just as important as physical health. The health fair is a reminder that taking care of our health is an investment in ourselves and our community. Phoenix's Dia de los Muertos Celebration is a vibrant and colourful tribute to life, death and remembrance. Families create elaborate ofrendas or altars adorned with photos, flowers, candles and the favourite foods of their departed loved ones. It's a way to honour their memory and keep their spirits alive. The streets come alive with parades, music and dancing. Skeletal figures adorned with colourful costumes and intricate face paint dance through the streets, celebrating the cycle of life and death. The aroma of traditional foods like pan de muerto and tamales fills the air, adding to the festive atmosphere. Dia de los Muertos is a celebration of life, a remembrance of those who have passed, and a reaffirmation of the bonds that connect us across generations. The Phoenix Music Fest brought together music lovers from all walks of life to celebrate the power and diversity of music. From rock and pop to jazz and blues, from hip hop to electronic music, the festival showcased a wide range of musical styles. Local bands shared the stage with nationally recognized artists, creating a unique and dynamic musical experience. The festival atmosphere was electric, with people dancing, singing and connecting with the music. It was a shared experience that transcended boundaries and brought people together. The Phoenix Music Fest is a testament to the power of music to unite us, inspire us and move us. It's a celebration of the universal language of music. The Phoenix Music Fest is a reminder of this power. So, from potential hurricane impacts to the vibrant pulse of our local arts scene, we've covered a lot of ground today. Phoenix is a city of contradictions, a desert metropolis that's constantly evolving. 
Thanks for joining me on this exploration of life in the Valley of the Sun. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more deep dives into the heart of Phoenix. And until next time, DFTBA. Keep exploring, keep learning and keep celebrating the beautiful, chaotic tapestry that is life in Phoenix AZ.